Okay. Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. Happy Vlogmas Day 9. Pedro and I just pulled up to the Christmas party, so we're gonna go in. He's being impatient with me, though. No, she wants to take time to just recording. Oh, oh shut up! Shit. Like we're gonna be here for two minutes. Like, insane. That's where we ended up. So we really just stopped by for some wings and mozzarella sticks because they're happy hour priced after nine o'clock. So I'm gonna grab that, even though we ate at the party, um, a drink and then head home. Time to go home. Time to go home, guys. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's time to go home, guys. Today is Saturday, and I'm just hanging out with the kids. It is 10 o'clock. So, I actually have a moment to myself. It's 11.30. My mom just left. Ayla's taking a nap. Onyx is taking a nap. And Pedro is out um, taking Jedediah to get his hair cut. So I'm going to actually enjoy a cup of soup because I haven't eaten. And um, watch some YouTube. But before I do so, I wanted to just chat with you guys and just kind of explain some things that are on my about Vlogmas. So first of all, I'm proud of myself for making it this far into Vlogmas and being able to vlog and edit and upload all in one day that has like come a little bit more easy than i thought it would be but m the most challenging part for me is actually making sure i have enough content and not being kind of boarded out with what i'm vlogging because i'm realist i'm i'm watching other people's vlogmas like some of the youtubers i follow and i watch and they have like so many christmas festival things going on pretty much every day so far and it's unrealistic for me and for my family so i don't want to compare myself to them but at the same time i want to make sure that i'm vlogging authentically so that when i look back at my vlogs i can actually just see what we did the month of december and how that how that year looked and so i don't want to get in my head and compare myself basically there's going to be some days where we do things especially during the weekends when my husband's home and we can go out as a family to do things. And then there will be some times where we're literally just home, hanging out and doing not much. So on days, just letting you know for the future because we're only on day nine. And so in the future, if there's days where I'm just home with the kids and we don't have much going on, I will probably do like a story time or share something with you guys or like I know I I have a Hawaii vlog that I never uploaded and the birth vlog of my third son that I never uploaded. So on days like that where I feel like I have not enough content, I can start the vlog. But then in that video, I will probably just add a little bit more in there just so it's not like yesterday. Because yesterday's vlog was only three minutes long because I literally just slept the whole morning. We went out for lunch and then I came home and started getting ready. And so 
there was not much to vlog on that day and I don't want that to be um, something that happens often um, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up because yesterday was gonna actually I was gonna do that but then I didn't have an opportunity to kind of explain why was I throwing in a random video and so just a heads up, if I have another day where my vlog is a little bit on the shorter side, I will fill it in with um, unseen things. Like like I said, those two vlogs that I know I have that I haven't edited or shared. And so that's going to be coming up probably in the next week or so. Also, I just want to do, this has been on my mind this year more than ever. So if you don't know, I have three kids. Um, I have a three-year-old, a one-year-old, and a newborn. That is almost two months. So as a mom, actually as a child, I grew up knowing of Santa, but like I can't really remember how it was as a child, but I just remember kind of towards the end of my childhood, like when I realized and knew he was not real. And so as an adult and as a mom now, I've realized that Santa is not someone I want my kids to necessarily believe in i don't care if they know who santa is because obviously like the school system tv shows movies things like that incorporate santa which is fine but i want my kids to be under to be i want my kids to be knowledgeable in the reason for christmas if that makes sense so um during this time i do fill my kids library or like their books with all the holiday christmas um, books that talk about God and the reason we celebrate Christmas. So I want my kids to know that Christmas is the day that Jesus was born and why we celebrate it. And I, I'm not saying we're, they're not going to get gifts and things like that because I think it does make it special and I want them to have the best memories ever for the holidays. So I'm doing my best as their mom to make sure it's special and memorable, but I definitely do not ever want them to think that Christmas is all about gifts. So I teach my kids like Jesus's birth took place on Christmas and this is why like this is what three wise men are and the angel and the light and the star and the sky and all of that like that took place that night. I want them to understand that story and to hold that to them to their hearts and realize that Christmas, yes, we get gifts and we give gifts, but it's a blessing to even have that money to even buy a gift. And so I want my kids to be grateful and thankful for the season and for the reason. And I don't know, I've been, as I've gotten to this realization, I, I've already had this because my, my son's first Christmas, he got one gift. And then last year, each of my kids only got three gifts. It was a need, a want, and a educational thing. And I wanted to stick to that idea, but we've been blessed enough that my kid's grandfather, actually, my dad, um, was the one that blessed them with um, the the money to get really good gifts this year. So I did go out with their gifts, so they do have probably like five gifts each, um, not including Onyx. Onyx really just got one big gift. And they, they, but all of them are things that they can all play with. And so I don't want them to think like, oh, we just got my battery exhausted. So I'm going to finish this clip on my phone really quickly. But I don't want my kids to think that Christmas is just about getting things. I really want them to be genuine about how they perceive Christmas. I want them to be mindful that Christmas comes at the end of the year so that they should be better kids like throughout the not better but like they should be well behaved and and build up all of these great characteristics like mannerisms um, helpfulness kindness love share that throughout the entire year so when it comes to the end of the year when we celebrate Christmas they realize that they have been disciples of God all year long and that they are going to receive something from God because of his son's birth does that make sense I don't know but I have a whole like I don't know as anyways what I was trying to get to was that I have been in this this year asking my friends like are you guys planning on teaching your kids about Santa because I do have quite a few friends that have kids around my kids age or younger and so I'm interested to see how are they going to go about their Christmas traditions in their household and not I'm not trying to persuade them to do one or the other I'm just interested to know their plans because I know that that imagination eventually comes to an end and 
I just want to know their reasoning. Like, if they do want to teach them about Santa, why? And how are they going to do that? Because to me, I, I know he's fake. And for me to just tell my kids, like, oh, yeah, this random dude from North Pole is going to bring you gifts if you're good. I'm like, it just, I don't know. It doesn't click in my head. So, enough ranting about Santa and Christmas. But like I said, I'm going to watch some YouTube. So, let me enjoy this quiet and peace time. I get time to myself, which is not very common. So, I will see you guys soon. <clears throat> it's a little bit later um everyone is awake Aileen and Onyx woke up Pedro came back oh but we have spit up Pedro got back with um Jedediah from his haircut and that's why he's in the bath I am actually kind of thinking of a couple things um I don't think I've I, <laughs> stop messing with the glass I don't think I vlogged this but um, for my birthday Pedro got me a sewing machine and so I was kind of thinking of looking into how to get started with that like buying some fabric and looking into like how to use the machine because <clears throat> I or originally wanted the sewing machine as a gift so that I could make my kids a blanket out of their old like their newborn clothes <clears throat> like significant clothes that I kept for for them like from things so I want to make them a blanket but I need to look into how to do that my handsome baby boy with the spit up baby wheels oh you guys I'm um I don't know how to explain this postpartum experience I feel like with my first son like with my first child I was in deep depression after having him because of like breastfeeding and pumping then after my daughter i was just like very checked out for a really long time and had a hard time like connecting and then with my son i just feel so much joy like out of randoms i have random spurts of just like pure joy like just thankful and full with my kids and my happiness with being a mom of three like it's so full that like to the point where i'm like i want another one even though my body does not want another one, like my heart wants another one, which is wild because after having, during my whole pregnancy, I was like, I'm done. I don't want any more kids. But like my son, specifically like looking at my, my looking at Onyx and just like seeing how pure he is and like seeing how my kids embrace him, him as a new baby fills my heart and just makes me want more. <laughs> 